And I thought I'd just make one up today, just, just make it up as I go along, just see what happens. So this is just clean water using the large rod Antonite. 15 by 11 Fabriano. And I'm going to start with a bit more water. Raw sienna, bit of, bit of light red. Raw sienna, just bang some of that in. Bit more water, bit of light red. Ultramarine. That looks like a bit of Payne's grey, ultramarine, a bit darker still. A bit of burnt. I don't normally use this many colours, I'm just experimenting really. Like burnt umber, ultramarine, put some of that in. Yeah, it's coming up. Coming together, bit burnt, burnt umber, light red, see what that looks like. Pass that in, a bit brighter. Bit of blue, bit of blue in there. Down there. And then what I might do, if I'm not entirely happy with it, is dry it and then carry on. So I want to try and get it really really light down the middle so the way you do that is by making the edges really dark see what some clouds just practice with a bit of clouds i mean you, you wouldn't see those once it's um once i've dried it and then gone over it again these will disappear anyway it's more practice than anything else practice your clouds just sort of coming up or even down from the other side and coming across like that a bit of tissue. You can see this one's not going to be very absorbent because it's, it's pretty old. But so it's it's not quite as um, white when you put it on. It's more of a sort of subtle subtle cloud. If you want it nice and bright, then use a, a cleaner area. Which we'll get a nip tissue and be done with it instead of messing about. It. Um, right. That's as far as I'm going to go with that bit. So I'm going to give that a quick draw. Just, just clean water, and then I'm just going to wet it again. Right down to the bottom, and because it's dry, most of the paint will stay in place. As long as you only go over it once, not loads of times like I'm doing now. Just go over it once, just so it's nice and loose again, and then you can carry on. So we're putting a, a sort of second layer on. I mean, you can go on do, doing this indefinitely. Basically what you'll find is the more layers, the more interesting it looks. Bit of red, ultramarine. A bit of burnt umber and ultramarine. Try and get it really dark. Just a bit of red on its own here, now look at that. See how bright it goes. And as I'm giving across, I'm just trying to catch the bits that are just seeping down. Be very wary of this lighter area. Bit of blue. Try and put some more clouds in there. So I'm just giving red, 
ultramarine with a burnt umber. Let's put them in, sort of coming along like that. Some of them Let's put these clouds in. A few more up there. I was uh, paint over some of them. I don't fancy. Pretty well defined those clouds. Just pop them in a bit, try and get them a bit stronger. Yeah. You'll find as the paper dries, it will get more and more defined as the paper dries. Like I say, you can carry on, you can dry that and then wet it again and then carry on. And you can just go on all day if you wanted to. I'm going to stop now for exactly just two layers. I'll just pull that side first, so it's flat, and then I know some people don't like the sound of the air dryer, but I don't like to edit anything out of these videos. So you can see absolutely everything that happens from start to finish. And dry now, so needs a bit of land now to give it a uh, give it some sort of perspective. So I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush in just to loosen up the uh, paint. You see, I've got just just enough on the brush to get that sort of that chisel edged look. No more than that. There's never pools of water swirling about. Look, all that water's falling off my palette. All the water I need is in the brush itself. Just enough to keep the airs together. Right, and then let's pick somewhere where the, uh, the horizon's in. It's going to be somewhere like that. Keep re reloading the brush as and when necessary. Um, so that's sort of nice and dark against, sort of, sort of silhouetted against the uh, against the um, the bright sky. As you come a bit closer, a bit more. Just giving to these same three colours: light red, burnt umber, and ultramarine. So sweep that right the way around. And then you, you don't want these two the same, either make that one longer or that one longer. It looks stupid if they're all the same level. So what I'm going to do is um, sweep that all the way around, really, just like that. And it's nice and dark, so you see the contrast against the lighter areas. It's a level as well. What we need, if we take out a piece of card, I'm just going to scrape a few rocks in. So, where should we put them? I'm going to put them over this. Let's do some far ones first. So these are far away, so they're just small. 
and because I'm using, you can see, not a lot of water and plenty of paint. See, that's how I'm mixing it. Plenty of paint, less water. That way, I haven't got to wait for it to sort of half dry on the paper. I can just go straight in. And the rocks will scrape out without having to, uh, without filling back in. If it's too wet, it will just fill back in. Just wait till it's half dry. If you wait too long and it dries, then obviously you'll have to loosen it up, wet it again. Now they're far away, so they're, and these are a bit closer now, so I'm doing, doing them a bit bigger. Give it out. Again, different distance, don't put them all at sort of level and parallel. You're looking for sort of random effects. So they're a bit closer, and then down there we've got some big ones now. So they're closer still. Something like that. And it just looks like the, the, the light is catching the top of the rocks from over here going past. So I think I've finished with the height now. So I'm just going to switch to the uh, number three rigger. And I'm just going to put in like a little silhouette of a boat. It's just popping up here somewhere. Siding off somewhere. A couple of little birds. I say a couple. Odd numbers always seem to work better for some reason. Either one or three or something. Um, three or two. I don't like putting my name right next to the sort of focal point area of interest. I'm just going to put my name over there, just somewhere out of the way. And there's our little uh, coastal scene. So let's, let's go in and have a closer look at it. So I've put a mount on it, and this is what it, this is what it um, looks like. We start up in the Evans. You can see the darker you make the surrounding area, the lighter the lights look. So this was a combination along the park. Had all burnt umber and ultramarine, but you can see the light red in there. Doesn't need much red. It's such a strong colour. Same on the other side. Took out a bit of clouds with the uh, tissue and then just let gravity do its stuff as it paint just comes down the paper slightly. You can see our little birds up there. And the clouds sort of drift off over the horizon and sort of get smaller and smaller obviously as they go further and further away. Little hair there, I just ignored them now. I got to the stage where I, I just think that part of the painting. down onto the horizon. You see I've made this as dark as I can to contrast against the light background as the land comes down into the sea and, and our little yacht sailing off. Sailing commentary because it was a fairly thick paint mix I can just scrape the rocks in straight away. I ain't got to wait for the paint to dry and then obviously they get bigger and bigger as they come into the foreground where we've got some great big monster rocks. So you also get like the uh, bonus of the looks as if the lights sort are of coming down catching the top of them. 
mean, the main feature of this painting, we've sort of got the light here and it's sort of reflected in the water there. That's when I brushed it in dark. So I, I do all that at the start, so you, you got your sort of lights and darks in. Makes it a lot easier. And then it's just a case of putting the land over the top of it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again very soon.